seven, followed by that right hook to the head. So the right hook still is operable, although he thought it may have not been. He shows his right. A one, two, followed by left, I mean left uppercut instead of a hook. And the left uppercut caught that guy right on the earlobes. Probably the biggest rookie, man. That guy throws the left, misses slightly about on the neck, but then he falls with the overhand up on the top. That seems to stagger him a little bit. Pacquiao who is scratching and sniffing. In the middle. There's and again. Do with the quality of the opponent. Just to let Pacquiao know, Pacquiao know you hit him. Then Pacquiao comes back and counters Tim's jab with a straight line. And he was in his last appearance. Very difficult fight. Don't think it was easy. Uh, just now. Pacquiao thinks about his jab. A little bit of left hand. Some up and he lands good shots and he's got money. And uh, there's less to worry about. Of course, the best laid plans of Pacquiao, you can have a plan. And he's coming back moment by moment, though. There's a oh, right hand by Bradley. Ah! Pacquiao to the body, followed by that right hook to the head. So the right hook still is operable, although we thought it may have not been. He shows us right there. But by the way, so is Manny Pacquiao. That's what he's using tonight. Tonight he's using quality course. Of course it is. We're having a much better round here. That's what I mean by more quality. That's those are knockout punches. And I hate to say it, but once a good left up against danger that time. You get caught in exchange with a puncher like Pacquiao. That's bad for you. Yes, it is. Justin Bradley. And now they're trading fluid. A one, two, followed by a left, I mean left uppercut instead of a hook. And the left uppercut caught Pacquiao right on the earlobes. Probably the, uh, the, the cleanest hook he's done. Pacquiao throws the left, misses slightly about on the neck, but then he falls with the overhand up on the top. That seems to stagger him a little bit. That punch landed the lines. Yes, it, let's go to Max Kellerman with Freddie Roach and Manny Pacquiao's corner. Very like, is Bradley showing you anything you hadn't anticipated? Because he thinks you're at the front door. When Tim comes up, he hits him. Da -da -da. Um, so unorthodox, it is Get up. And losing the round to Pacquiao. He needs some uh, to get the momentum back. Great left, followed by a right hook that landed right, right on the chin. Uh, he was up in the air, kind of off that on two, but. Good right hand by. What happens when you do bad footwork? He didn't move his right foot back first like he should have, but Tim was able to catch up to him with that left hook. Not his right foot, his left foot. He didn't pull. Level is rising as he tries to wrap in good. He's creating openings for Bradley by mounting his offense. Uh, that's one, two. That's a good for Bradley. Yeah, that's a good one. Jeff came in, kept his head in the same place as he attacked, didn't move out of no parking zone, and bam, that cow with the left, that hurt him. And then here comes Pacquiao. We know Pacquiao is one of the best finishers in the business. Followed the shot with a looping. Right up, a uh, left uppercut, and set him down. Tim highly off balance when he when he came with this loop of the shot. He was off balance right there, and Pacquiao just threw the shot because he knew Tim was off balance. Pacquiao missed badly with the left hand and was able to get the hand back in tractions in his life. Senate camp. As you have, if you try to set him up and knock him out. That was a good right. What well, seemed to be a fortunate knockdown. A couple rounds after that, he got the real one. The real one. For the winner, by way of unanimous decision, and now the WBO International Welterweight Champion from the Philippines.